In today's Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a working minimap like this one. Did anyone know that there is a Mojang Studios cape? This is the first time I've ever seen this. So welcome back. My name is Echo. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, I bring you a client review. Now the client we are checking out today is the Eternal Client. This is super helpful for servers and realms and single player. I am doing this on version 1.18.2. This is supported, I believe, on the 1.17 versions and the 1.18 versions as well. If you're just here for the download, no problem. There is a link to their Discord where you can download this for yourself. Just a quick mention, you can't find this on the Google Play Store. And we are checking out this, which is just called Eternal Client. It is an APK download. Seriously though, I've never seen this before. Mojang Studios Cape. Whenever I've played Minecraft, it's always been the Founders Cape, which is the Creeper one, or the Pan Cape. So as you can see, my Minecraft now says Eternal. It's not Minecraft. And we have this button here. Now, what I will say is I believe the current clients that we see within the Minecraft community, they're all using the toolbox base. So if we tap on this, we're going to put it over here. We tap on this. There's a couple of things available. We have health indicator, text truncate, auto sprint, armor hood, world edit, full bright, minimap, and zoom. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you can use these on every single server because most of the servers have different rules. But if you are using this, be very careful, please. I also noticed that this client has all the emotes unlocked. So if you wanted to check them out, you can do that. Just tap on your emotes and change, and you will notice inside of here, every single emote is unlocked. All right, let's see what this app can really do. We have some horses who are going to be our volunteers in today's video and a couple of bobbing creepers. So the first thing we're going to do is tap on the icon and the first thing we're going to do is check out the health indicator. When you tap on this, there is a simple change and that is that mobs now have their health displayed above them. So if we give him a little tap, you can see it goes from 26 to 24. We do it again, he goes to 22, 20. Tw come up, come back. 20. You get the idea. Now, this is super helpful all around. I believe it might show players as well. I don't have any friends right now in here, so I can't show you. But it even shows you the likes of the squid. Oh, that's a thick salmon, bro. That's a big guy. Well, salmon is our example here. I'm sorry. Sorry, salmon. He's like, yo, you want to fight, bro? Is that what this is? But yeah, like, I think this is a really cool thing. And to be honest with you, when I was on land here... I had no idea there was a squid over there, so it actually helped me find the likes of a squid, so that's really helpful. And of course, we have the creeper volunteers here as well. We give him a little tap on the noggin. He goes down a little bit as well. He really wants to get on land. Uh, but this is one of my favorite things, and it updates in real time. So if we go over here, you guys will see what we'll use you. We tap on it. Bam, off. Bam, on. Bam, off. Bam, on. The next thing available is called text truncate. Now, I'm not even going to pretend that I know what I'm talking about here. I have no idea what this thing does. It comes in different lengths. Starting at 0, you got 16, 32, 64, 128, and 512. My guess would be the size of the text. But honestly, I have no idea. But the next thing we have, I do know what that is. And that is auto sprinting. So... As you guys can see, I'm just tapping the arrow once, not even double tapping, just tapping it once. And you can see that I'm literally walking around. In order to sprint, I would have to double tap this. You can clearly see that I'm sprinting. Pretty sure you know what auto sprint is. When we enable this, when I just tap once, I'm instantly running, okay? It just makes life easier. There's no like double tap needed to do this and your screen starts shaking like crazy. You literally just press it once and you run. Now, some servers might not like this, so be very careful with this one. Check the server's rules, because again, I don't want you to get banned, because I'm trying to show you something positive rather than a hack client. For this next one, keep an eye on the top left of my screen. This is the armor hood. Basically, it displays your armor. It shows you how damaged it is. 
It shows you what you have available. This is incredibly helpful for servers because something I always get like stuck with on servers is what armor I've got on. I don't want to go into my inventory screen because someone's going to just roll up on me and try and kill me. The only known thing, and this is something I would probably recommend doing, is probably having to turn off your paper doll. And that is inside of here, hide paper doll. Otherwise, you'll know to, oh, and you probably have to turn off coordinates as well. I mean, for the likes of this, you could always enable them both in survival. But if you're doing it in like a server, it could kind of get in your way. That's so much better. So even when I'm sprinting, you can see that there's no character behind my armor hood. But from crouching, there's nothing there. And there's no coordinates there as well. Honestly, I feel like I wish we could move the armor hood. I wish you could move it. It'd be so much, like, the way you can move this, if you can move the armor hood, I'd definitely move it to a different location. Available inside of this client is also a world edit. Now, I have no idea how to use this, and I'm not going to mess around with this either. I think this is going to be the same as it is in Toolbox. Something else that this does have, though, is a working full brightness. It's like you as a player literally emits light, and you're just completely bright. So wherever you go... You'll be able to see things clearly. Just be careful with this because if you are using this in survival, although it's nighttime, you can still get mobs spawning. Alrighty, let's let's do a little bit of a comparison like a cave or something. This is a perfect example. I've also just noticed that you can legit see mobs through the wall. I'm guessing that's going to be the same for players as well. So I can see everything over there. But again, it's incredibly dark. So at this point, I would just turn on full bright. Again, <laughs> in creative, it's easier. I wish it would tell you the mobs. It just says 20 out of 20. I wish it would say like creeper because that way I can avoid the creepers. So probably the reason you clicked on today's video because of the intro, because of the thumbnail, and that is because this has a working mini map and I love mini maps and I would love to see this in Minecraft. When you tap on the mini map, first thing you'll notice top right, it's really, really tiny. No problem. You can adjust this to your own liking. If we tap on it again, there's two different settings. If we turn the size all the way up, honestly, having it this big is not a bad idea. I know it takes up a large quantity of your screen, but at least you can see everything that is around you. So the settings, radius. If you're in survival, I'm going to say you want to keep this at like 3, 4, or 5. 5 is a little bit more zoomed out. If you change it any higher, like 8, it's incredibly zoomed out. And if you're in survival, well, I just think... Three or four or five is perfect. You might want a bigger. You might want to load in a bunch of chunks. This really is a cool survival island seed that we found here, by the way. So you can adjust it. Um, obviously, 80 is too small, as you've seen. Let's try like 176, and let's try this in the middle. I feel like that's really helpful. But honestly, for, for my device, having it that big, is it's not a bad idea, and it seems to work. And then we've got one more thing, and that is zoom. You can zoom. Like, all the way in. Oh my god, you can see my spots. So let's be honest. Every Minecraft player loves Optifine. And Bedrock doesn't quite have it. But this is like the next best thing. So you tap on zoom. You can change it. Oh my, oh my days. Yeah, pro <laughs> probably don't recommend zooming all the way out. Oh my god, that is really freaky. Yeah, don't zoom out. Let's go to like this, maybe. That still feels really weird. Let's go to like zoom in. Okay, I think that's too far. But uh, when you zoom in, you can change it to your liking. Let's zoom in on this chicken. Ultra HD chicken right there. I feel like a, a phone advert where they zoom in with their cameras to try and sell you the phone. Let's tap on it again, zoom back out. Let's tap on, where are you? Where's, where's, where's he gone? I want to see the chicken again. There, there, chicken. All right, let's zoom in again. Zoom. And then we can zoom in even more. Oh, this time we got the llamas. You can zoom really, really far. But the more you zoom in, the more sensitive it becomes. So I don't really know if there's a perfect sweet spot for this. Honestly. I think let's go back out. I'm going to say like maybe 100. Like 100 could be the perfect. No, that's too much. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It all depends on how much you want to zoom in. Nah, I think a little bit more might be needed here. I feel like 67. Yeah. I feel like that's such a better, a better view. Zooming in too much. Is too much. Zooming out, like, all the way, like, you, you can't see a single thing, you know? <laughs> You're like a blur. You can even see, like, I don't, like, look at the real Minecraft. Look at my hands, bro. I feel like I'm playing VR. That's what this feels like. 
So yeah, I don't really check out these very often. Thought this was really, really helpful. It's not a hack client. This one is actually a really, really helpful one. Service, realms, survival. Check it out. Have some fun. And I'll see you all in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. Goodbye.